here we are, we're in the green side bunker, in an upslope with a buried line. We've got a short flag again. So our priority here is to one, get it up and out over this lip and to get it to actually travel. One of the most common mistakes you'll see here is a lot of people come in here with a sand wedge and they'll go in and they'll, maybe they'll get it out, but they might only get it out just here in front of you. It might even land on tightly cut grass and then roll back down into the hill. So first thing we need to know is that you're not limited to using a sand wedge. You can use other wedges. You could use a pitching wedge or a nine iron if you think you've got enough room there to get it up over this lip. It's very similar to a buried lion that we want the club to dig, so we want the leading edge digging in pretty quick. You are gonna need just about all of your oomph here to get this out, so don't be scared of giving it a right old hit. The only thing we need to be wary of is that we are hitting extremely down into an upslope, which means your club's really just, you're not gonna be able to follow through here. It's not gonna be any of that, that classic stuff. We're gonna be hitting and kind of getting stuck in the mud, so to speak. So. Tight grip is in order in this situation and for all buried lies in the bunker. The only thing we're going to do is we're going to just tilt our shoulders a little to try and help us make sure it gets up and over. So we're taking less loft. That'll help us to get it to go the distance. Tight grip and we're going to give it a right old hit. Now ball position here in the middle will be just fine for this situation. If the ball was buried and it was on a down slope, we might have it a bit further back in your stands to try and help the slope. But in this situation, the middle, maybe slightly left of the middle is okay. We're gonna tilt our shoulders just a little bit to suit the hill. And we're gonna give it a right old hit. So let's demonstrate this, see if we can get a decent shot coming out of here. Do your best to try and dig in and still try and keep your weight left if you can. It is a bit difficult to keep your weight left when you're in an extreme upslope but still do your best. The worst thing that can happen here is that we fall back, fall down the hill, catching the ball halfway up and blading it over the back into the water or into another bunker. So here we go, we're gonna dig our feet in. We're gonna keep the club face square, so it does dig. Adjust our shoulders ever so slightly. Tighten up your grip and give it everything you got. There we go, we got that nice, tremendous thumpy noise out of it. The ball got up and over, and even though that was a gap wedge, a 52 degree gap wedge, it still had plenty of height to get it up and over the lip because we were already in an upslope. So try and remember that next time you're in an upslope, buried in a bunker. We hope this helps you with your consistency and with your confidence in getting out of that lie.